Alright, this is my review of this tire. As you see, it's off the car, so it's not going to be good. But, I said I tried, and I tried it. And I guess it's one of these ones that you stay away from. The brand is Atlas, and what's the model? Force UHP, whatever. Um, I do say the tread wear is pretty good. Like, yes. Yeah, been on the car for for a little while but not I think it went through one oil change and that's it um, the problem with these tires they sh they vibrate bad between 60 and was it well anyway between 55 and like 75 to 80 well now past 80 it calms down but you might not want to do that and while I'm pointing the camera this is I'm about to show you why this is the inside of the tire. Um, this is it's supposed to be like this right here, nice and flat. But you see, the cheap construction is coming apart. So these little air pockets. See, I can push it down with my finger. Yeah, this is a pocket where it's starting to come apart. Um, I bought this for simple tire. Um, show them the videos you want to. Um, I didn't even want to bother with a refund once I saw this because I mean yeah I'm just gonna take it as a lesson lost because the manufacturer clearly needs to get on the drawing board when it comes to uh, when it comes to this so I just say my advice these tires are a no-go period walk away from them and I wouldn't buy them um, but yeah it's bubbling all over like all over here this is a big bubble then you come back over here starting to bubble here then oh, there's another bubble so and this is on the inside wall so um, yeah so we finna toss this out to the recyclers, but just wanted to show you. So I will be shopping for some new tires. I got another one just to see, and I think that was defective too, which is unbelievable because, uh, or one of the other ones are defective, but yeah. Sad, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's not safe and it could possibly blow so i ain't really let this blow on me so all right it's quick it's a quick review so my advice you see on amazon run away run away i think i'm gonna do what uh oh yeah meanwhile that thing over there um this past weekend it snowed heavily and the girl well uh, i can't call her my girl yet but uh my friend girl was here um and these are awesome um i haven't had time to tow with them yet but i have put them in the snow and let me tell you when it says it's all weather rated it is all weather rated um we went to Asheville, north carolina and as everybody knows who was there, yeah, it was crazy. Um, but this thing handled the snow like a champ. I couldn't, I wanted to record, but I couldn't because the girl was, yeah, she was with me and, you know, she wasn't down for that. But, you know, her safety first, so. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. But, yeah, they did good. Like, I, yeah, I know these are run circles around the ridge grappling when it comes to, like, snow or weather because, I actually got to see these sites in action and I see what they're for now and they they do an excellent job so uh, the Mickey Thompson Baja boss I totally recommend it uh, yeah I totally recommend it for snow and I'm definitely gonna get another set of these because so far so good um, I was gonna do like the 20 the 20,000 mile update but 
yeah after the snow thing and driving it driving in the snow and actually driving there in the snow and ice i forgot about ice it did good in the ice yeah i had some ice patches on uh 24 i mean not 24 uh interstate 40 and it did like a champ and then 26 was oh 26 was terrible um but we did good we rode up and down downtown uh, Asheville. And unfortunately, downtown Asheville was closed down for the snow, which was a bummer. We were trying to get something to eat, but, you know, we ended up riding back. And, yeah, it was very interesting, um, an interesting trip, but we made it unscathed. I did not feel like I was going to die the whole time, so my opinion is get these tires, get these tires, and the money you spend on them don't worry about it because you're gonna get your return on them so that's that's just it right there period because i knew the ridge grapplers can could not make it through that that type of weather without sliding or doing something so just a little note and i say for these they're gone like i'm, I'm taking them off i think i'm going to go with um probably with some uh continentals like I had I had continentals before. They were a little stiff, but I think for the tread wear and the way I use this just to travel on highways and with the whole ice thing that I went through, yeah, I'm gonna put it on the on this and just ride just ride with those. So and honestly I'm thinking about doing the red wheels on this one too because um everywhere i go i see black on black and don't get me wrong it looks kind of cool and these are dirty i know it's, it's dirty but it's kind of cool but at the same time like when you see like honda odysseys and and your was your jeeps was it what's the little meat meat jeep the small little jeep with black wheels too it kind of gets played out so i want something that no manufacturer will put on the car so i'm gonna decide so I may go with yeah I may go with uh, probably do I got some red wheels in mind and probably do red wheels on this as well so I can kind of go with a theme I'm kind of inspired by uh, by the what's the rapper name Young Dolph where all his cars was kind of trademarked with some kind of color pattern or whatever I like black and the red wheels kind of stick out to me so i might put red wheels on these so on this one too so i don't know i even may go down the size i'm not sure but uh, for the driving i do probably not but who knows but just to update on both of them this one great you get your money's worth that one bad spend more money <laughs>